What's up y'all? Odid here once again. Today we are going to smoke a chuck roast on my Lang. So let's get started. All right, y'all, let's get started on this chuck roast. This is a two and a quarter pound Angus grass fed chuck roast. Uh, so it's really nice. It's gonna have that kind of rich beef flavor from uh, the cow being grass fed. Um, if you can't find a grass fed Angus chuck roast, no worries. Just get uh, whatever you can get in your supermarket or from your butcher. I did a little bit of trimming on here, as you can see, um, especially from this side. Uh, there's a lot of this hard fat. This right here is what hard fat is. Um, this is not going to render out during the cook, so it was kind of in this area and I just kind of trimmed it out. Uh, you may or may not get a chuck roast like this. There's a little piece right here I could probably get rid of. Um, it'll work like this. Like I said, uh, you may or may not get a chuck roast with this much hard fat in it. The rest of this, like these little striations here are fat. Um, this right here may not render out, but like all of this here, this is all the good fat that you want. Uh, all of this, especially this little area right here. Um, so you're gonna keep all of that, and then whatever doesn't render out, when you go to uh, cut or pull this, you can kind of just pull it out and discard it. All right, now that it's trimmed and all ready to go, uh, we're gonna put a basic rub on here, and once again, as I've been doing a lot lately, we are gonna use a basic Texas-style rub, which uh, the main ingredient in that is pepper, and it's got about half uh, the amount of salt that it does to pepper, and then there's very little garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, um, a couple other things. But whatever rub you usually use on uh, beef at home, you can use this too, especially if it's like a brisket style rub or something like that. So anyways, um, and like you would with any other thing, you're just gonna liberally um, coat the entire chuck roast with it. All right, this is rubbed down and ready to go. And because it's a denser piece of uh, beef or meat, what we wanna do is now put it in a Ziploc bag or a food saver bag, and I would say the minimum amount of time that you want to uh, let it marinate is four hours, and I'm gonna actually do it overnight, so that way all of the uh, rub can really permeate into the insides of the meat, and then tomorrow we will put it on the lang. All right, y'all, it is about 18 hours later. Uh, the chuck roast has been marinating in the fridge. That's what it looks like. All the rub has kind of permeated the meat, uh, and my lang, it's sitting at about 310. Y'all know I like to cook hot and fast, so let's uh, throw it on. All right, we're gonna throw this uh, chuck roast on, and we're basically gonna let it cook to an internal temperature of somewhere around 200 degrees. Uh, at 160, I'm gonna wrap it in another uh, foil pan like this, put foil on top of it, and then let it go to around 195, and then I'll start checking it for tenderness uh, with my thermopin see where it's at. Like with any other cut that you're trying to cook in this style, uh, you really want to do it by feel. Um, obviously you're going to do it a little bit by temp. I'm going to put that probe right there in the thickest part. We're going to set it right there and close this. But yeah, you kind of want to do it by temp, but once you get around your target temp, then you start checking for doneness. Um, when you feel or you use a probe and it kind of goes in like room temperature butter, that means that the meat is ready to go. All right, we're gonna cook this up to 160 and then wrap it. All right, as y'all can see on the smoke, we are at 160. So let's open up the lang, see what this chuck roast looks like. Oh yeah, look at that color on there. Uh, that's ready to wrap. So we're gonna put it in this foil pan here, wrap some foil on top and throw it back into the smoker and then we'll start probing it around 195. One thing I would also like to mention before I get too far into this video and I forget is uh, I'm using a mix of hickory and red oak for this cook here. Uh, we got that nice grass fed beef so it's going to have a very uh, heavy beefy kind of flavor to it so you want uh, a type of wood that's going to kind of match up or um, kind of complement that uh, that beefy flavor so I want kind of a heavier smoke and I think for this particular smoke here that this, this hickory and red oak is going to give it a very nice flavor. All right, people, the Thermowork smoke is now rating 196.4. And again, that doesn't necessarily mean that this chuck roast is done. Uh, it just means that it's a round of temp. But I feel it could be done. So we're going to take the Thermo pin here, not to check for temp so much, but for tenderness. Yeah, that's not quite there yet. So I'm gonna take this up probably to 205. 
at this point. Um, I can just tell kind of by feeling it. I don't think it's going to be ready any time before that, but I'm guessing around 2.05 uh, it'll be ready to go. By the way, it's only been about uh, an hour and a half on this. My average temp has probably been, my average temp has probably been around 350. Uh, some of you might say that's kind of hot. Uh, on this Lang, I cook hot fast all the time and everything comes out great. I just did a tri-tip uh, brisket style and cooked it at 350 and it came out awesome. So don't be scared to cook hot and fast, people. Uh, it does work and we'll be back when we get to 205. All right, people, smoke is reading at 206. Point three. Don't forget that important point three. Let's see where it's at here. I have a feeling this is probably going to be done. Looks nice. You probably can't see it from there, but uh, trust me, it looks good. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Probably can't tell. I'm barely, just barely pushing on it. Um, so yeah. This is good to go. We're going to take this off, take it inside, and we'll let it rest. It's a slightly larger piece of meat, so you want it to rest for a little while. I'm going to say 45 minutes will probably do this good, and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get into it. All right, this chuck roast has rested for about 50 minutes. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got all that juice in the pan. This is why I use a pan instead of foil or butch paper. That way you can keep all of that. Um, and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these heat resistant gloves. Make sure you got some of these. And uh, we're gonna put it on a cutting board over there and get to pulling. All right, we got this on the cutting board. Let's get to pulling it. See how it came out, y'all. There we go. All right, this is what it looks like once it's all pulled. Uh, it almost kind of comes out like burnt ends, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's almost almost like a faster and least expensive way to make a burnt ends, poor man's burnt ends, I guess. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take these and put these on these center rolls that I have. A neat little trick if you have a lang is put a piece of foil on top of your firebox and you can toast uh, buns like this. So this beef, on these buns, shouts out to Pork Chop and Bubba. I'm gonna be using his barbecue sauce. I make my own barbecue sauce, but this stuff right here is amazing when I don't feel like making my own. This is what I use. If you live in the Central Valley of California or you're passing through, go check out Pork Chop and Bubba's. And last but not least, uh, I put these hatch chilies with Oaxacan cheese uh, in the lang for about 10 minutes to give them some smoke flavor and then stuck them on top of the firebox as well. Uh, to give them a little bit of a char. So this is gonna be our lunch. And then my lady is making a chipotle mayo for her sandwich. So let me put a sandwich together and y'all can see what it looks like. All right, y'all, the finished product with the smoked chuck roast on the center cut buns. Got that hash chili in the back. This is gonna be my lunch right here. It's gonna be great. If you guys have any questions about the recipe, hit me up in the comment section. I am out. Peace.